Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited. It's Christmas time. Isn't that exciting? So excited for Christmas and really excited because Writing Warehouse sent me two boxes. Now I knew I was getting one box. I've been waiting for this for a very long time and I'm gonna show you what's inside this box. But they sent me another box and I have no idea of what they sent me because I only ordered one thing. So I think we need to open these boxes and see what's inside. Hello my friends, it's me Lisa from Lisa Goodwin DIY and I have an equestrian related video for you today. So if you're not an equestrian, you might want to stick around and see what some of this cool stuff is. I have two packages that I got from Riding Warehouse. I have no idea what's inside of one of them. I know what's inside of the other one, I think. So let's open them up and see what's inside. And I'm going to start with a package that I'm pretty sure I know what it is. So this one, I have no idea. And it says this end up handle with care. I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know. But but this guy, I am pretty sure I know what it is, and I have been waiting a really long time for this. So let's open the box. Oh, yes, it's what I'm thinking. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a long time ago, I placed an order with Writing Warehouse, I think back in the spring when they were having a really, really awesome sale. But one of the things that I ordered was back ordered, and I've been waiting a very long time to get this, and it finally came. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at it shines. Oh my goodness. This is the Lemieux Lori satin pad with the memory foam collar. Oh my gosh. This is so awesome. Look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, that's going to look so good on Pleasant. Very excited to try that on him. All right. So now I have to look in this box because I didn't order anything else. So let's see what else Writing Warehouse sent me. Let's look. Let's look. Okay. So it says this end up. So I'm going to leave that up while I'm opening the box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the FL Advent Calendar. <gasps> I didn't get one this year. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is the FL Advent Calendar, so for equestrians. And there is a card on the front of it. Oh, look at the pretty pony. And it says, Lisa, Writing Warehouse is so thankful to have you on our team. We wish you and your herd the happiest of holidays and a wonderful new year. The RW Crew. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. Writing Warehouse, thank you. That's awesome. Super, super awesome because I couldn't really afford it. So, oh my goodness, this is so cool. Okay, okay, awesome. Writing Warehouse, like one of my most favorite places to shop for my horse and everything related to horse and rider. So thank you, Writing Warehouse. You guys are great. And I know in the past I have done unboxing videos of the FL Advent Calendar. And those take a lot of time to do day after day after day. So how about instead of me opening one day at a time, how about we just open every single day right now and let's see all of the different surprises behind the little doors. Does that sound like fun? Sounds like fun to me. Get that protective coating off of it. Okay. 
on one side it has this and it's I don't know what it says friendship friendship needs care of course it does and our horses are our friends right and it says friendship needs care on this side too and if you have never seen the FL advent calendar before this is like the coolest thing I think you could get an equestrian for Christmas. So it is just like a advent calendar for normal people, but this is all towards horse people. So each of these little doors or windows is what you open just like you do an advent calendar, but we're going to just open them all. Let's just do it. Let's see what's inside, shall we? All right. So let's go to day number one. I can never find the days. There's two. There's one. Okay. Let's look at day number one. It's a tub, I think. Oh, this is cool. I haven't gotten this before. This is bronco care meaning bronchi like in your lungs and it says for easy breathing and on the packaging it says when inhaled this special composition of precious oils thyme eucalyptus mint fennel sage and star anise promote the clearance of mucus from the lung rubbing the balm onto the nostrils releases the essential oils while soothing the respiratory tract and encouraging easy breathing. A protective film forms over the nostrils like a second skin and protects against external influences. And it says it's doping free, so it won't test. Whoa. Oh, that smells really good. That's very cool. Very awesome. Day one. Cool. All right, I already had found day two, which is over here in the corner. Uh oh, I don't know if this is supposed to be day two. I think it, I think it fell down. It's big. My hand's stuck. Holy cow. Ooh, this is the F all shower gel. So this is for the writer and this is a really nice shower gel and it does not dry out your skin, which is perfect to use this time of year because it's flipping cold outside. As you can tell, I got my jacket on. I meant to have just my cool t-shirt that I made on, but it's too cold. So I have my horse jacket on and actually my mom gave this to me. It was hers. So I love this jacket. That's why I always wear it outside around my horse that I love and my jacket that I love because it reminds me of my mom. So that's just a little bit about me, but the shower gel, very cool. This is awesome stuff. If you can find this and buy it for yourself, I would highly encourage you to do it because it really does work. It's very nice. Okay, we're on to day number three. Oh, this is so awesome. This is a shiner for your boots or actually any leather but don't put it on your saddle because it'll make it really slippery all right and i do have my boots out here which are really dirty so we're going to give them a quick wipe down all right so i got some of the dust off they're pretty shiny as they are but this is going to make them ultra shiny so make it so you can see. Yeah, you can see that. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so cool. So this is great. Like if you're going to a horse show and you want to have something to polish your boots, look at that. Very shiny, very fancy. So I think you can see there's the before and there's the after very shiny but this is awesome to have like in your ringside bag so you can give your boots a quick polish 
before you go into the ring. So very, very cool. And I know you can buy this on its own. You don't have to necessarily buy the whole advent calendar, but awesome, awesome thing to have. Ooh, that would make a great stocking stuffer too. Just saying. Okay, that was day number three. Let's go to day number four, which, oh, I found that one easy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think that one fell through too. Okay, so this is called Hay Sport Micro Wash. And it says rain something soft shelf and fleece and something und elastin textilien i think that textilien i don't know how to say that and it's all in german so i'm gonna have to look this up but i believe this is a shampoo for your like laundry soap it smells really good so we'll have to look that up and see what this is if it's for like putting in the wash. That's what I'm thinking it is. So I'll look that up later and I will let you know later on if this is for horse clothing or what this is for. That was day four. Let's look for day five. Oh, and day five is boot polish. This stuff is awesome and it repels dirt and water and provides a glossy shine. Again, so something you can use on your boots before you go to a show, or if you just wanna have very shiny boots. Very cool. All right, that was day five. Ooh, I can really smell that detergent now. That's gotta be laundry soap. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that was day five. Now we're gonna go to day six. Day seven is Leader Combi. This stuff is awesome for cleaning your tack and it smells so good. That's a nice little size bottle of it. See, I really like the Leader Combi. This is what I use to clean all of my English tack. So I've got a little one. I can put that in my tack trunk. I can put that in, I could put it even in my grooming kit. So if I wanted to clean my saddle and make sure it looks pretty before I get into the tack, there's a little guy. This cleans your leather so well. I love this. I love this a lot. That was day seven. Let's go to eight. Uh-oh. Wah, wah. Eight is empty too. But did it just fall down? Oh, there's lots of things down in the bottom. So the things just broke probably. <laughs> All right, there's a couple in there. So. Okay, this stuff is really great. And I think they have had this in the advent calendar in years past. This is called um, hot lotion or skin lotion. And this has urea in it, which is really good for like healing and moisturizing, but it's antiseptic and it soothes itches. Like if your horse gets hives or something, this works really well, provides quick relief for sweet itch allergies, and eczema. And again, this is doping free, so it would not test if you were showing your horse. All right, so I think, no, that we're gonna leave that one because there's one, I think there's one more down in the bottom. So we're gonna save that for day 20. So that was day, what was that? That was eight that we did, right? Okay, so we're gonna go to nine. I think, yeah, nine was empty. Woo, uh-oh. Oh no, they're all falling down. Okay, so we'll say nine was empty. Let's go on to 10. Oh, I can get that out easily. Okay, so here is another one of those hay sport washes. And unfortunately, again, it's all in German and I, I can't read German. So I will have to find out what this one is. So this is hay sport that has like a dark blue lid and this is hay sport and it has a turquoise lid. And it says that it's for Gore-Tex, Polar-Tex, Dermix, but it's a wash, it says. It smells clean. So it looks like I have two bottles of detergent. I just gotta figure out what they are for so I can wash my horse clothing. Okay, so that was day 10. Day 11 is up here. Uh-oh, oh, that one stayed in place. 
that one didn't fall apart but these are so nice so these are non-snap plating bands and they are in black which is awesome because pleasant's mane is black and his tail is black and these things are great. So like if you are just wanting to plate your horse's mane or braid their mane or their tail, these work really well. I don't know if you'd want to use them necessarily for showing, but if you're trying to get your horse's mane to lay over on one side, these are really great. And you could use it for um, banding too. Kind of cool. That's a big bag. 400 of the little bands. Very nice. 11, 11, right? That was 11? Okay. So now we need 12. 12 is over here. <laughs> I took it off on the wrong side. I like literally ripped the door almost all the way off. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's a couple that are just kind of making their way down. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? That's cool. That is awesome. These are Bronco bonbons, also known as cough drops, though these are good for both horses and for people. And I've actually tasted them. They taste pretty yummy. I'm not gonna lie. And actually there's two packages in there. So that's very cool. So that was day 12. Let's go to 13, which is on the bottom. Oh, this stuff is so nice. This is a little bottle of the regrowth serum. So if you have a horse that has rubbed out like his mane or parts of his tail, pleasant blankets, rub him on his neck. And when he walks, it rubs out pieces of his mane. So this helps it to grow back faster. This stuff really works. So that is awesome to have. Okay, what day was that? That was 13. So we need 14, which is right above, one and a half above. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love this stuff. This is the hoof gel. This stuff is so awesome. This, I love their hoof care products. I think this is different though. So this is the hoof ointment. And actually I got this at Riding Warehouse too. This works so great on my horse's hooves. It helps keep the moisture in and helps to prevent them from cracking. So very nice. So this is the hoof ointment that I already had. And this is, it's a hoof gel. So let's see, oh, it's sealed. So let's open it. That smells good. This is more of a gel. Well, yeah, hoof oil gel. I love this stuff. Versus like the stuff that I already have, this is an ointment. And I just stick my brush into it and then use it. It works really good. It lasts a long time, but I don't want to run out. So that's why I have a brand new one sitting in here. All right, so that was day 14, 15. Oh, 15's up here. Ooh, this is a little container of the leather cream soap. So this is a saddle soap for cleaning your leather and it's a cream based formula. It works really well and it smells good too. Yeah, it smells really good. And actually I love the way all of the FX and F all products smell. They smell delicious. Just makes you think of horses, makes me think of horses. Okay, that was day 15. 16 is up here, which technically has gone down to the bottom. So we'll just grab stuff out of there. So 16 is friend snacks. And my horse loves the friend snacks. So that's really cool. They are just really great. And I could put that in Pleasant's stocking. That would be really fun. Give him a stocking with some friend snacks. Okay, so that was 16 and 17 is right above it, which <laughs> it's down on the bottom, I think. Yeah, I think. Oh, we got another hoof gel. This is the summer hoof gel. Now I have used this before in the past from the prior years of the advent calendar. This stuff works great. Really good to use on your horse's hooves in the summertime because of the oils that are in this summertime hoof gel. It promotes elasticity and strengthens the hoof while it grabs the moisture and pulls it in uh, because the horse's feet grow faster in the summertime and they tend to get really dry. So very, very nice to have. Okay, so that was 17. Let's find 18. Okay, 18 is up here. 
all very nice. This is a container of the Skin Balm. And again, the Skin Balm has urea in it, so super ultra moisturizing. And it also has zinc, um, zinc oxide, which helps promote healing and rosemary and sage oil. So this one really goes in your first aid kit. It smells really good. You can totally smell the sage and the rosemary in the skin balm. All right, that was day 18, 19, 19. Well, 19 has something in it now because it fell down. This is the Ephal lip balm and it smells like the Ephal products. So that will be going inside with me because I am addicted to chapstick. I think that was 19, so now we're on to 20. 20. Down in the other corner. Oh, and this is nice. I haven't seen this before. This is the White Star Dry Shampoo. These are really nice to have in the winter time when you can't give your horse a bath because it's really cold outside. So you brush the area that you want to wash then you spray this on, then you take a clean towel. I really like the microfiber towels. And then you just scrub, 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 and that gets the area nice and clean. So I guess if you had a white spot on your horse or something, cause that's just a little bottle, but that would be nice to tuck away in your grooming kit. Very cute. All right, 21. Oh, 21 is on the bottom. And it's another one of the creams, like the little containers. Now this is Hoof Soft Cream or a Hoof Moisture Balance. And it says it's moisture regulating intensive care. So it's gotta be ultra moisturizing. Yeah, it says that the, this formulation with glycerin and witch hazel extract provide lasting moisture to dry and brittle hooves. Makes them elastic and resilient it also has beeswax and lanolin to provide a water repellent film to protect against extreme dampness. And again, it is doping free. So very nice to have. And actually these little tubs or jars, it's 50 mLs or 1.76 fluid ounces. And this actually lasts a pretty long time. I think you would be really impressed even if you can find just the sample size to try it out. I think you'll really like it and that'll last a while. All right, I forgot what day, that was 21. Okay, so we want 22. 22 is at the top. And, oh, this is so nice. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is Liter Balsam. And actually Liter Balsam was my first introduction to FX and FL products. This is what it's like in the bigger size. And it lasts a really long time. So I've got about half, about half, left in my giant one. But this stuff, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I wish I had Smell-O-Vision on here so you could totally smell this because this is the most delicious smell of leather bombs. And what you do after you clean your tack, you put this on the leather and it helps to keep your leather nice and supple and it does give a really nice shine. It also has a little bit of stick to it depending on your tack. So this gives me a little bit of extra stick on my saddle, which I like. In my opinion, this is probably one of the best leather bombs that you can use for your, your tack, your saddle, bridles, leather, anything, leather, yeah. Okay, that was day 22. Let's go to day 23. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Hey, we did that one, didn't we? Okay, 23 is at the top. Oh, it's another gel, another little tub. Oh, and this is a horse bomb, and this is more like a liniment. This stuff smells so good. Oh, definitely a liniment. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. And it says on the container, this is beneficial to use after exercise because it warms everything up. So if you've not ever used a liniment before, it has kind of a heating action that is in the ingredients in here. So after a workout, rub this on your horse's legs and it'll get nice and warm. Very, very cool. All right, that was 23. So we want 24, which is up here in the corner. How did I miss that one? I think that was 24, right? Yeah. Uh-oh, 24 is gonna fall. There it goes. Ooh, all the way to the bottom. That's a big one. Holy cow, oh my gosh. This is like a full size of the mouth butter in mango. Oh my goodness, pleasant, 
loves this. So you put a little bit on the corners of their mouth, kind of like chapstick for horses, and it helps them with the bit because Pleasant doesn't like a lot of bits, but he does like his mouth butter. Oh my gosh, this is so fantastic. That's awesome. And they have different flavors. This happens to be in mango and Pleasant likes mango. So this is great. All right, so I think those are all of the days. I think we opened all of the days. Pretty sure we did. Let's just double check. Uh-oh. Ah. Holy cow, how did I miss day 19? Whoops, uh-oh. I think day 19 leaked a little bit. This says Tex Wash. So again, that is one of the Hay Sport products. So I believe that is for horse stuff, blankets maybe, I don't know. I will look into all of those Hay Sport washes. And if you know, you can leave a comment in the description box below. That would be helpful. All right, did we get everything? I see one more thing in here. Let's make sure. Yep. Okay, so this was one of the days probably that I missed that just fell down. Oh, that's nice. That is a tube of FL hand cream for riders. This is really nice to put in your purse, keep in your grooming kit. So if your hands get really dry, especially in the winter time, very nice to have. All right, I think we got everything out of the box. It's not making any noise. Pretty sure it is all empty. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, Riding Warehouse. Thank you so much. Totally appreciate all of the FL and FX products. I love their products and I can't wait to use them. But I think I have taken up enough of your time. So I will go ahead and get out of here for the day. I hope you have a fabulous day. I hope you have very Merry Christmas. And I have some more crafting videos to make. So I am gonna go make those. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.